In this presentation, we will create a new company file for our practice problem. Let's get into it with Intuit's QuickBooks Online. Here we are on the Intuit website. Intuit is the owner of QuickBooks. It's spelled I-N-T-U-I-T, I-N-T-U-I-T dot com, Intuit dot com. Once on the Intuit website, we're going to be going to the QuickBooks. I'm going to go to QuickBooks here, and then I'll typically go to the bottom of the page where we'll have the various QuickBooks products. Obviously, we have different QuickBooks products, including desktop and then online, and then different versions of online and desktop. We here considering QuickBooks Online. So now I'm at the bottom of the page here. This is like my little coupon thing. I'm going to close that. I'm on QuickBooks Online. And so we'll go into the QuickBooks Online and then think about the options for QuickBooks Online. So here we are. I'm going to scroll back down again. I'm going to, I'm going to remove this item on the right. And then here we have our, our three options. We have the Simple Start, the Plus, and the Advanced. Now, if you're going to be using the projects features, you're going to be needing the plus feature so, or the plus option or advanced. We're going to be using the plus for our practice problems so we can use that project feature. So again, if you're going to be following along, you typically will need the plus item. Now note, there's typically a 30 day free trial or a 30 day discount of some kind. So you want to, if you apply the 30 day discount, that could be a great tool to learn the information because then you can start a practice file and follow along with the practice problem, which you can complete in 30 days. And that's a great tool to learn about. Now, the way it happens here, note uh, you have the, the three months. I believe this is going to be a discounted rate at the 35. If you select this item up top, then it goes to the free trial and you see it skip over to the free trial uh, down below. So I believe I'm interpreting that to mean that if you select this item, you could select the free trial option or you can go back to the other item and you can select a discounted time period for uh, one or multiple months type of option. So what I want to do for the practice problem is the free trial. So I'm going to click over here and see if we can get the free trial and then I'm going to go uh, try it free. Then if you don't have an account, you would want to set up uh, an account with Intuit. So it's going to be the standard process to, to set up the account with Intuit. I'm going to go ahead and sign in down here because I do have an account. So I'm going to say sign in. And then it says skip the free trial and save today. Buy now and save 50% for three months. Or so notice it's got the plans down here where you could save for three months. And I want to continue with the free trial. I would like the free trial. So again, if you're following along with a practice problem, the free trial is perfect because then you can you can do the free trial and then possibly apply the same uh, software to your company file after you set up a new account or, or, or a, a new software set up for your company file. So I'm going to say I would, I would like to continue uh, with the free trial here. It's going to go through the process. It's taking a little bit of time as it goes through the setup process. Then it says, uh, tell us about your business. Everyone needs uh, something a little different from QuickBooks. Let's get to know what you need so we can tailor things to fit you. You can change your info anytime in settings. So this is not going to be permanent information. We can change it within the settings. What is the full, uh, the full legal name of your business? I'm going to call it just job costing is my legal name. And then how would you describe uh, what your business does? And so then we're going to select the business, uh, what we do. What I'm going to try to do here is put no chart of accounts because what I'd like to do is go through the process of setting up our chart of accounts uh, from scratch. And so we can get an idea of the chart of accounts, how they are, how they can be set up from scratch. So I've been using QuickBooks desktop and want to bring in my data. No, we're not going to be bringing in our data from QuickBooks desktop. We will be starting a new company file. So I'm going to say next. What would you like to do in QuickBooks? This is just to get uh, get you started. You can always do more later. So we can check. I'm just going to check all these off. We'll be going to do all these. I'm not sure these are uh, necessary to check all of those off, but I'm going to go ahead and do that. And I'm going to say next on this one. Then it says, what's your role at the business? Uh, we'll use this info to help personalize your QuickBooks. You can always change it later. I'm going to just choose the owner here. So uh, do you have an accountant or bookkeeper right now? Yes, someone helps me. Uh, no, I do it myself. No, but I would I would like help. So I'm going to say, no, I do it myself. And then great. I uh, will be with you every step of the way. All set. So I'm going to say all set. That looks good. And there we have it. We're up and running. Notice I didn't enter any credit card information or anything with, with that uh, free trial. So it says welcome job costing. This uh, 30 second tour will help you down. So I'm going to close the tour. You might want to take the tour. 
Then up top, you're going to have this ribbon, which is going to be subscribed now and save 50% to actually uh, purchase. But again, our, our goal is to go through this for the 30 day time period for our purposes of our practice problem. And then if it's something applicable to you, then of course you could set up an account uh, with QuickBooks um, and push forward with it. So that's going to be it for now. Let's get out of here.